Okay, what is up everyone? We're back with another video. Um, this is pretty big news. As uh, first of all, first type of video for me doing this. Uh, this is obviously different from what I'm usually doing on my channel. This one pretty stuff, but I want to grow. Um, so I want to cover most of the stuff that's happening in WoW. I've already missed some alpha stuff. Maybe I'll go back and cover those. Uh, we'll see. I don't currently have alpha, and I probably won't have alpha. But I do like to read up on the things that are changing. Um, but yeah, this is big stuff right here. Target corruptions and faster cloak empowerment. Let me just put this out there. I've already went on some streamers' streams on Twitch, on YouTube, uh, the guild I'm in, the Discord I'm in. Um, I've already said like this is going to happen. <laughs> I'm glad it's, it happened. Um, I really am. Um, yeah. I kind of like to pat myself on the back saying like, look, I told you guys. Um, I just had a feeling that Blizzard was going to go ahead and do something like this because there's a handful of months left in Battle for Azeroth. Corruption already kind of is out of hand with all the player power and the borrowed power that is with Corruptions. Um, there's just so much RNG that kind of, like it felt good to get a piece of Corruption and then you look at it and then it's like the nerfed version of Echoing Void and you're playing a Discipline Priest. Um, so it kind of sucked how random it was. And if you got a drop, and then it's nothing you could really benefit from. I mean, there's been plenty of times that I've uh, sold pieces or kept them and cleansed them so I can get the stats that I like on them. But this is a big change. So we're just gonna go ahead and read it. Um, yeah, so. We're working on an update to the game that we expect to roll out in the coming week. We plan to make improvements to the process of obtaining corrupted items on, a max, on max level characters and also streamline upgrading the legendary cloak as Jatar, Astra, Astra Kamis. Yep. Um, our goal with this update is to speed up the power progression of new level 120 characters while giving established endgame players more agency in pursuing the corruption effects they most desire. More Echoes. In our last update, we added Echoes of Nihilotha, a new currency available for, miss, for most visions of Nizhoff content, which can be used to directly purchase rank 3 essences that have already been unlocked on a different character. We plan to expand the availability and purpose of this new currency. Now, once any character completes Legendary Cloak Questline, they will immediately begin earning Echoes of Nihilotha from all of the usual sources. Echoes of Nihilotha will be much more abundant than before. As we expand the usefulness of Echoes of Nihilotha, we want to ensure that players who haven't felt the need to accumulate them don't feel disadvantaged. So we will be increasing both the drop rates of Echoes and their cost by a factor of 5. This means that when these changes take effect, a major assault will, be, will award 625 Echoes up from 125. The cost of purchase an essence will also increase by the same factor from 500 to 2500 echoes. If you are planning to purchase a rank 3 essence with Echoes of Nihilotha that you've already earned, you should do so now before these costs change. So this is a real interesting line here. because um, I've already read through here and I don't I didn't see anywhere that said they're gonna reset your echoes. Um, because I've already made this comment when I found out this news. Um, what are mains going to do? I'll, I'll get to that later. But let's continue reading. Improving Ashra Comets. We're also reducing the requirements for any quest step and, and upgrading the cloak from ranks 1 to 15 that previously required multiple horrific visions. Each rank can now be achieved in a single horrific vision. For example, upgrading a rank 13 cloak to rank 14 will now require two torn pages of the final truth. It used to be six. So if you're currently in possession of two or more pages, you'll turn them all in and immediately complete that quest. The following quest upgrade from 14 to 15 will then require that you get go get two more new torn pages plus eight. That's actually really cool. Um, kind of sucks if you already did that grind, but obviously they say it's, um, it's supposed to help out with your alts there. Um, so if you're, if you're kind of holding off an alt and you've got fresh 120s, and you didn't want to cloak it grind again. I mean, this is super alt friendly now, right? I mean, every single perfect vision you're in, uh, another rank can be achieved now. That's huge. Um, 
So the requirements are further minor upgrades to the cloak after rank 15 with Melissa cores have not been changed. I think that's very fair. Um, I like, I th I'm, I'm glad this game has like kind of things like this that you put your Melissa cores and you put that effort towards the main. I mean, all just nice to have them catch up, but do you really want it to be like just like your main? You just want to have four or five mains? I mean, I'm sure some people do, but also those people who do want them, they put forth that put forth that effort to make that happen. Um, I, it's just, there's just too many people on the general discussion forums who are just complaining and crying like, oh, I wanna, why can't my alts be the strongest my mains or blah blah blah? I mean, like, first of all, you look at their wow armor and they're doing this like casual content and I'm no like intense gamer either um but at least I put myself out there doing like 17s and 18s and stuff I try and get to rating when I can usually pug stuff um I do random battlegrounds uh nothing too intense but like mythic plus is more my scene I try and push so pretty much I can't go anymore until I don't get invited anymore um and I don't I like I really like the current state of the game honestly um and when I see people complain about little petty things like that, and I look to see what they're doing in the game, and it's like they're mount farming or playing Pokemon. It's like, what do you even care if your alts are as strong as your main? Like, your mains aren't even that strong. What do you think? What do you, what are you whining for? Um, but yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, Mother will also offer vessels of horrific visions in exchange for Echoes of Nihilotha providing an additional source of access to horrific visions that does not require completion of salt. That's pretty cool. Um, so if you already have like a crap ton of echoes on a alt, because like I said, we'll get to this in a, in a little bit, um, but let's say you have some echoes saved up for whatever reason, but you don't have the, um, what are they, well, the original ones to get horrific vision keys. Uh, oh man, coalescing essence, I think it was. Um, so let's say you have more of those saved up than you do the original form to get horrific visions done. So now, I mean, now you got like a stockpile of horrific vision keys and now you can upgrade a cloak even faster. You don't have to wait like, oh, gotta wait for the next reset to get another set of crazy amounts of coalescing essence. So that's a, it's a cool little change. Then you kind of have like two forms of getting um, your yourself into horrific visions. <laughs> uh, choosing your corruption. This is it. This is what I said was going to happen, and I'm really glad that it did. Um, so, choosing your corruption. In addition to any unlocked essences, Mother will now also offer several new preserved contaminants, which allow for a specific corruption effect and the associated corruption penalty to be applied to a selected item. The inventory of available preserved contaminants will change twice each week, mirroring the assault cadence and will cycle through all available corruption effects at various levels of potency. You can use a preserved contaminant to apply the corruption you purchased to any uncorrupted item that can be corrupted, much like an enchant. Here are some sample costs from Mother's updated offerings. So we're going to the offerings. Let's go over their scheduling. There we go. Um, so this line here, the inventory of available preserved contaminants will change twice each week, mirroring the assault cadence and we'll cycle through all available corruption effects at various levels of potency. So that means, let's say like this table here, let's say this, this is the first table we might see tomorrow because there's another post that came out 20 minutes ago that shows like this is going live tomorrow and I'll put that up here in a little bit. Um, the inventory of available preserved contaminants change twice each week. So like Tuesday, you have your assaults, both your assaults are refreshed and you have Veil of Eternal Blossoms and then you also have um, Old Doom or Old Dumb, however, however it's pronounced. I don't think you're going to have, yeah, you, I, don't, I don't think they're going to do it that way. I don't think you're going to have two sets of corruptions to pick from. I think, boom, you get on Tuesday, you have whatever it's going to be for a few days until one of those assaults change. And then when one of those assaults change, I think you get a whole other set of um, corruptions to pick from. So it happens twice each week. I think that's how it's going to go. I don't know the exact calendar days or in-game calendar days when these horrific visions change, but it's as simple as pressing the mouse button and clicking or highlighting over the world quest icon on the affected corrupted area. A highlight over there is like the second line of text that says like, will end in like three days or something. 
So I think whenever that first one ends, I think when we go talk to mother on that third, that first one ending, I think we're going to see them change right then and there, you know, when that reset happens. Um, so hopefully you guys can get on, um, multiple times a week to kind of check on these corruption pieces. Maybe you log in and boom, they have everything you want, all the corruptions you need. Hopefully you guys have enough things saved up, um, these preserved contaminants to buy what you want and bring your power, your player level power, like through the roof now with these corruptions. Um, or if you don't have them, if they're not there for you, save some more of these echoes so you can get preserved contaminants. And hopefully when you have a good amount saved up, it's your turn for that week or whatever, and boom, you have all your corruptions that you want. So make sure to keep checking on those. Um, I'm for sure gonna be checking on tomorrow and see what, see what's going on with those. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, okay, so these are some, these are sample costs, right? I don't know why Echoing Void is worth this much. It's really a piece of shit. Um, like this is a sample, so this might not be it. This is this might just be showing us like this is what you're gonna be looking like, or this is what the table is gonna be looking like, right? I think Twilight Dev, if this does go live this way at fifteen thousand, is kind of fair. This Twilight Devastation is huge, and it's probably not gonna get nerfed before the expansion is over. I still have a feeling. To put this out there now, like on the record, I have a feeling they will nerf Twilight Devastation a little bit. Or do something to it, or maybe we can only have one equipped. I don't know. Um, but I just have a weird feeling that might happen. I also had the same weird feeling regarding choosing your corruption, and it came through. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but important notes here we highly suggest that you purchase any rank 3 essences that you want and can afford as soon as possible. Or let's remember that. I want to circle back to that. Uh, here's another interesting line, due to a technical limitation, items that have been cleansed cannot be cor cannot be recorrupted. We are looking into whether it will be possible to fix this, but we don't want to hold up the whole system in the meantime. All of the previous ways that corrupted items and vessels can be acquired are still in place. Changes above are meant to supplement those sources and provide us more options and control between your goals. That's awesome. Provide you... Bold that or underline that. Um, but that's really cool. So everything that was before Tuesday's reset is the same after Tuesday's reset. It's just, here's more ways to do it. More player control, which I'm a huge advocate for. So let's go back to, first let's talk about this one. Due to a technical limitation, items that have been cleansed cannot be recorrupted. We are looking into whether it will be possible to fix this, but we don't want to hold up the whole system in the meantime. So to me, that means if you got a piece of corruption gear, like I did earlier, like I was just talking about earlier at the top of this video, I had some pieces that were kind of crap corruption, but I liked the secondary stats on them and I didn't want to, my, my corruption allowance wasn't all there for me to have the piece of corruption. So I was like, this one sucks, cleanse it. I don't remember what piece that was or what pieces those are, but according to this line, this technical limitation means I cannot re-corrupt that piece because I cleansed it. So if it had, let's say, um, I don't know, like a mastery one, a masterful one, I cleansed it because I didn't, I didn't want that on my corruption allowance back then. Maybe I want it now, or maybe I want to change that to a, a racing pulse three, which I, I do want racing pulse three. I want that haste. Um, but let's say, okay, let me try to put that on there. But due to this technical limitation, it might just tell me either just give me like an error code or it might just say you can't do this. So that's what that's talking about there. Um, I'll start with this line of text here. We highly suggest you purchase any rank three essences that you want and can afford as soon as possible. I don't know why they would say that because nowhere in here did it say we are going to, we're not, we are going, no, let me start this over. Nowhere in there did they say they were going to reset the current stacks of Echoes. So if you guys are like me, I was kind of a completionist with my main and my priest. I was like, you know, it'd be nice to have all rank three essences, even though I'm only going to use like five of them, six of them maybe. And now I got them all rank three. Then I stopped getting echoes because I wasn't eligible for echoes for like almost a month, I believe. So I'm sitting at 289 echoes. While in the meantime, my alts I'm bringing up now, my paladin, my warrior, there's like, I have like two 
essences that I didn't want to get on them. Cause I had this, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, I had this feeling. I was like, huh, I keep getting these echoes. So I'm like, oh shit, I have a lot of echoes. Let me go see what I'm missing from mother. And I go look and I'm like, oh, it's the unbound force one. Like that's, that's really terrible. I'm just not going to get it. There's no point in me wasting these echoes. Cause I thought like, I wonder if they're going to do something cool with these echoes of Nyloka. And it turns out they are. And that's a really good feeling. But this line here kind of hints that they might reset those for people like me or people like other people who have been banking them for even longer than me, you know? So real interesting here. I Maybe they just mean it because now you're 5K. Cause my Paladin has like 5,200 and my Warrior has like 4,800 Echoes. So they might be saying that they're they only worth 500 now but when we go forward, they're gonna be worth 2,500. Maybe that's why they're saying it. I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow if they're gonna do a hard reset on them. I have a weird feeling they will to kind of limit that Tuesday. Holy shit. I have this all that's been sitting here and they got like 15,000 15, um, echoes and I can start off with Cloud Station Rank 3. Brand new out the gate, this new patch. I don't know, we'll see. I have a weird kind of feeling they're going to reset it just because it's kind of like Blizzard fashion. Um, but yeah, that is the big update for tomorrow's tomorrow's freaking reset. And here we go, Hotfix is May 18th, 2020. Let's check this out real quick. <clears throat> Class of Demon Hunter, yeah, whatever. Uh, here we go, yeah. Developers know, after the weekly restart, Character is going to start building up Echo the Nile with the Preserve Contaminants Corruption Vendor items that will use this currency. Oh man. Regional Research. Hmm. Okay, so not all of it. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to go back on everything I just said. Yeah, okay, after the weekly restart, characters can start building up Echoes of Nyloka. The preserved contaminants corruption vendor items that will use this currency is in the final testing phases and we hope to have them available from Mother as soon as possible. I take everything back. Okay, so everything else is going live, it looks like, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like everything else is going live tomorrow. Um, besides the corruption vendor. Okay, that's interesting. So, take out everything back, pretty much what I just said. Maybe they're giving us a little, maybe the following Tuesday, they'll give us like, a week to build up our currency and then boom drop us a vendor next tuesday we'll see but yeah guys there you go um sorry about that i really thought they were going live tomorrow with that but it looks like they're not but everything else as far as how fast you get them how quickly you rank up your cloak that seems to be going live tomorrow may 19th uh tuesday reset in us uh, that seems to be going live tomorrow minus the corruption vendor but yeah guys that is it that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, let's see what I do next for my next video. Let's see what other goodies um, Blizzard comes up with. Uh, maybe I'll get clips of the new currency stuff coming out. How much more echoes you get per just daily content you would normally do. Uh, yeah, guys, that is everything. Please leave some comments below and let's have some conversation about this. What do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about like your main might be um, stuck where my main's at. With only 289, I kind of closed that door to myself getting the uh, Echo of Nyalotha because I wanted to be a completionist and just get them all. You think Blizzard is going to do a hard reset? So people who have alts, like me, who have my Paladin at like 5,200 Echoes and my Warrior at 4,800. 4, now those guys are kind of ahead of my Priest to kind of like catch up on player power. Um, do you think Blizzard's going to reset those guys or everyone's on an even playing field? 
or do you think they're just gonna let it be? Let's let this one go, let it happen. If you have someone who has all these echoes tanked up, are they just gonna let them just freaking get all this corruption? Whenever they decide to drop the corruption vendor? I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. Uh, so leave us some comments, we'll have some uh, discussion about this. And thanks again for watching the video.